LAX. Weren't we just here? Just arrived into Nice, took three flights to get here. Just about to hop in this Uber now. Take about a 40 minute ride to get into Monte Carlo. Things are gonna be a little bit different this week. Mostly stuck at the hotel, but uh, good news is hotel is walking distance to that magnificent Monte Carlo Country Club. Still gonna be a beautiful week, just uh, a little less mobile. So just gotta roll with it, you know? Be a little flexible. All right, let's see how they do this, hopefully. Mess up the, mess up the money maker. Now, uh, how far up are you going with this? I'm a little sensitive. Okay, I do quick. I do quick. Quick and very soft. Quick and very soft? I like your style. Okay. <laughs> Oh, she thinks it's funny. Oh, she thinks it's funny. All right, so waiting for these test results to get back before we are allowed to leave our hotel room. So, figure may as well just come out here on the balcony. Can't go to the gym, can't go to restaurants, can't go anywhere. So, thought we'd order in a little lunch, uh, take in some of this uh, espresso. You know, I turn it into a little Americana because that's uh, how your boy do. And uh, you know what? Just just try to make a little lemonade. You know, do how they do in Monaco and just, uh, you know, get my relaxation on. And uh, you know, if I'm really feeling myself later, and really feeling all fancy, might even, you know, mess around, order a little Grey Poupon, something like that. Brother, what are you doing? That's my food. Okay, day zero over here in Monaco and look who we have joining us. Mr. Executive Producer in the house. We should be on our best behavior now. Now I just have a quick question. Why of all the places did you choose to join this week? <laughs> Somebody has to keep an eye on you too. <laughs> Ross is gonna leave soon. I don't know how long he can take this. Okay, boys and girls, uh, losing it a little bit. Being in the room, not being able to do anything. So we're gonna take a shot at actually doing a workout. So uh, we got a little uh, situation. Again, if I have any more caffeine, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself. But seriously, you, you don't always have everything you need. You don't always have everything you want. So just another opportunity to make the best of a not ideal situation. Let's see how this goes. We are moving up in the world, boys and girls. Check out the TC desk over here. You got to understand the journey. 2019 we were right there for that step and repeat stand up with a mic. Now we've come all the way here. Beautiful DraftKings desk. Uh, Danny, you're, you're, you're out bluing me today. We are uh, matching it. I love it, and I noticed we matched the desk. This where we're, we're in sync. What's under the jacket, for gosh? <laughs> What's in the water bottle? Hot water. <laughs> it's like a pocket heater for me. People gotta get to know. You know? For a cost worldwide, uh, it's a bit of a winner. <laughs> I don't know if you would last in Seattle, Washington, let alone. Why would I go to Seattle? <laughs> Come on. I hope there's no tennis tournament. Oh, Paris was snowing the other week. How would you have lived? I don't. I don't go to these places. What if the I tennis tournament says you just say no? I go to islands. On hiatus for I go to like the Dominican Republic. <laughs> these are the places I go to, okay? Oh my. Viva. All right, it's a little bit of a different story than yesterday sun is out so you can actually 
enjoy these magnificent grounds here. I had to take a walk up. You can see right behind me are some of the practice courts. I think John Millman, Nico Mahout are practicing there. And imagine, as you're practicing right there, check out the mountains right in front of your view. Not gonna get this very many other places in the world. Defending champ all the way through. His opening round had a little bit of trouble, but uh, looking pretty smooth in that blue. I think imagine Teddy going after that title defense. All right, nearing the end of day two here. Nice, bright, sunny day. King Arthur in the back doing a little press. About to join us at the desk next. Your defense was great, offense was great. What's your preparation been like? I think certain tactics work better on clay than they, they do on hard or grass. To be honest with you, I also feel quite comfortable doing things with my back end. So <laughs> uh, I have my great. second weapon right there. All right, just got our midweek testing done here in Monte Carlo. Evelyn's been absolutely magnificent, putting up with all my grief all week. <laughs> uh, Evelyn, where are we right now? We are in Fonvieille. That's uh, in the new part of uh, Monaco, Monte Carlo. Okay. That's the uh, small port there. Okay, let's take a look at that small port. I'm not going to be able to pronounce what she said. Look at that. Magnificent. Danny, how was it? They, they touched my brain. They, yeah. they touched my brain. <laughs> I, I had to, yeah. Dan, great to have you here. Tennis Channel, DraftKings desk. You know, I'm working day by day to get better. Uh, moving on it, it's just, so it's um, it is extra satisfying to obviously beat Novak, but especially on clay. Uh, something pretty cool this week. My uh, April issue of GQ India just came out. Really special article this time. I talked about the last 14 months I dedicated to a physical transformation. You know, we weren't going out, weren't being seen. So I said, you know what? Let me commit to sort of the best physique I've had to date. Went into this deep bulk and a deep cut and very happy with it, but uh, it was grueling. Mental, physical, uh, took, took a little bit out of me, but uh, really proud of it. So hope you guys check it out. Hope you guys enjoy it too. But uh, now, just uh, back to the defending champ, Fabio. All right, so last day here, about to head over to the finals. Stefanos and Rublev cannot wait for this match. But yo, check this out. Got a different little angle over here. Oh, Monte Carlo. Absolutely magnificent. They're actually building out even more Monte Carlo out onto an island over here, not unlike Dubai. So headed over to the finals, I have to give a shout out to this absolutely lovely, lovely woman, Miss Evelyn, who has been putting up with all my mess this week. I mean, I've been cranky because there hasn't been any gym, haven't been able to get the kind of food that I need. You know how we operate over here. So I've been a spoiled brat, a diva. Uh, 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 what, what else can we... Spoiled brat and diva. How, how do you say these things here in, in France? Uh, you've been just a normal French person. <laughs> Prince Albert in the building. Well done, champ. <laughs> Here, and I you this. <laughs> Hope you're not gonna drink any champagne out of that thing today. <laughs> this is a family tournament. <laughs> I like that. It runs in the family. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that I've, I'm gonna go take some pictures with my mom now upstairs where her name is engraved. It feels quite special having my mom uh, in, uh, in the winner's list here in Monte Carlo. That's a wrap on the last work day of the week, boys and girls. I can't even believe it. Back at the hotel now, getting ready to fly out tomorrow. Haven't really been able to enjoy this beautiful city as I did in 2019, but I will say the walks to and from the courts along the beach haven't been that bad. View's been pretty good, but uh, it was straight. In and out, work week, got to see Stefanos, one of my favorites on tour, take the biggest title of his life. Maybe he's gearing up for a Grand Slam coming soon. Great to see all the boys and uh, just in and out, quick. 10 days back home and then we'll be back on the road in uh, Madrid and Rome. You know me, I can't wait. I love this sport, I love these warriors. It's what I live for. So uh, let's get on that big bird and uh, Prakash Worldwide, be out for a bit. We'll see you back real soon.